This is the first of three informal techniques for assessing the validity of deductive arguments that we will review. This first technique consists simply of applying the definition of validity. By definition, a deductively valid argument is an argument in which if the premises were true, the conclusion would have to be true. Once we have identified an argument in a philosophical text, we can simply ask ourselves, if the premises were true, would the conclusion have to be true? And if the answer is yes, the argument is valid. Otherwise, we say the argument is invalid. It can also help to apply the definition of validity differently. Try asking this. Is it logically possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false? With this question, we're asking whether the argument is invalid. To answer this question, we think of different, logically possible scenarios and try to find one that makes the premises true and the conclusion false. If we can find such a scenario, the argument is invalid. Here's an example. Consider the following very simple argument. If the book is square, it has four right angles. The book has four right angles, therefore the book is square. We can all easily imagine a scenario in which both premises are true, but the conclusion is false. For example, if the book is a rectangle. So this argument is invalid. However, remember, our failure to find a scenario that shows that an argument is invalid is not the same as showing that the argument is valid unless we have considered all logically possible ways of making the premises true. After all, there may be a scenario that shows that the argument is invalid, but we simply did not find it. <laughs>